It was made by Seth Thomas. It's a three-legged escapement. These little arms, what they call the legs, and it's a gravity escapement made by Denison. And pendulum is actually, if you were to pull these arms out, it would freewheel. Pendulum swing is impulsing these arms powered off these little, probably not ivory or bone or some kind of hard material. I'm just amazed the pendulum this thing, 14 feet down, you know, it's just, that's a, like an acetylene cylinder on a stick. This fan is adjusting how fast it lets off the escape. That's when I was tightening up the clutch on it. It was hitting these arms a little bit hard. I was hammering them. Yeah, and um, so. So your dad did, your dad he made, had to rebuild one of those things. No, he made two of them. This one here. What, what happened to them? They, they broke or bent, really badly bent. They're hardened steel. What, what gets them, what breaks them? It's hitting too hard. This is called a gravity escapement just because the, how it's set up and it's a little more accurate and they put them in the precision clocks. And of course this is your time adjustment here for your rough adjustment. The final adjustment is the knob at the bottom. You move this up or down. And the pendulum's 14, I think, and a half feet lengthwise. It's a little over a second beating pendulum. And um, like I say, it's not really a clock, it's a timepiece. Because clocks technically strike. This is a timepiece. Tower timepiece, but we call mm -hmm. them clocks. You put this key in here and it's on this shaft. Oh, right there. Right there. I see it. Okay. And you turn this thing either way and you can look at the dial here up yep. front. Yep. Right. And that's your auxiliary dial and that tells right. you where how far you're going. Right. And um, of course, this was set up for gas control. We're turning on and off the gas. Yeah, it was. Here. Yeah, right. The counter arm went here, and it was connected by a cable. Isn't some of the gas piping still in place? Oh, so right there. That's right there. The gas piping. And of course, the shaft would protect from lightning damage. You go outside and look at the arms, and the shafts are wood, and that's insulated from lightning. Because these things are always hit. The towers are hit by lightning. Mm -hmm. You know, especially they got a full, yeah. or metal leg pull up on top. Right. The unique thing, it's still in the original installation. It hasn't been, you know, this is the original clock for a Union Station. It's yeah. it's, you know, it hasn't been electrified. A lot of times they'll electrify the winding. Instead of having to wind it up, they'll have a gear motor. And other, like other clocks like this? Yeah, they'll have a gear motor and a belt chain and they'll, you know, Sometimes they came with a factory auto wind, but a lot of times they cobble them up and get rid of the weight and cable and or the escapement. They'll electrify it and put an electric motor on it, which is a shame. A beautiful piece of workmanship. Yeah, it is quite beautiful.